is proof that fitness is within the reach of everyone. Marcus Irwin began aerobics because he says he was too fat. Last week, the Eastern Suburbs instructor became the world aerobics champion. Marcus Irwin may not have been missed by many here in Australia, but while he was away, he certainly made a big impression. One, two, three, hit it! When it comes to aerobics, Marcus is now ranked number one in the world. Last week, against 33 other countries, he took gold for Australia at the World Championships. In April, he outperformed all at the World Cup in Tokyo, the only athlete ever to hold both titles. Not bad for someone who only took up the sport to lose weight. When I left school, I decided that aerobics was probably the best way to, to lose the weight, and I never thought it would go this far, ever. Competitive aerobics is just like gymnastics. Every move controlled, every mistake means points deducted. It was a minute and 48 seconds of sheer pain the whole time I went through it. Because the whole idea of the aerobic competition is to look strong, but also to make it look easy. So there you have to work on your facial expressions. And most of the faces in the routine are actually choreographed because you're going through so much pain that there's no way you could smile. Like most world-class athletes, getting to the top hasn't been easy. Endless hours in the gym, strength training, choreography and countless aerobic classes. Fitness is my entire day. I wake up in the morning, um, drag myself out of bed and exercise for the entire day. And the, the, my breaks are punctuated just by eating and maybe sitting down for five minutes. So it, it is a full-time job. Marcus admits his level of fitness is extreme, but says if he can achieve success, anyone can. Once you get past the barrier of it being painful and it being a chore and it becomes enjoyment, um, I definitely think it's worthwhile not sitting on your bum watching TV the whole time and getting up and doing... It doesn't need to be aerobics, it can be anything. There's so many different forms of exercise, there's no excuse for people to be sitting around. As the new world champ, sitting around is something 23-year-old Marcus is not about to do. Sandra Sully, 10 Eyewitness News. Sheer pain, I knew there was a reason I wasn't doing it. <laughs> Mike Gibson is back with sport and some not so...